uh, we are very grateful of being part of this expert clinic. So I'm going to share our experience um, in the case of Colombia. So shortly, uh, the outline of uh, for this presentation. Um, I'm going to start with the context, going to talk about some activities we are being implementing, the process of adaptation of GSBPM, uh, focusing on the peer review and a uh, quality framework we are implementing there, some challenges we are facing, and uh, the next steps. Regarding the, the context uh, of the COVID, um, as many other statistical offices uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Colombian National Statistics Office has increased intensively the use of administrative records in order to provide insights through data for policymakers and stakeholders. Danny has identified the necessity of improving the administrative records quality framework so that the National Statistics Office can optimize their statistical applications. Currently, quality management is carried out decentralized and without a defined periodicity. We are aware that defining and applying a quality framework for collaborative information production system at the national statistical system level will guarantee some standards that encourage decentralization, reuse, and coherence of the statistical information that is being produced. Finally, the adoption of new quality framework involves cultural challenges and requires prioritization, training, and learning processes. So we are facing some challenges in terms of our capacities. So uh, we want to um, like receive the recommendations and, and learn from the spirit of the other experts in this clinic. Uh, regarding the activities, first, uh, Dane uh, has been working uh, in the alignment uh, of his quality framework to uh, his generic statistical business process model, the GSBPM. Um, we all have also been designing and defining a conceptual framework based on international experience, of course, but also in our own experience, so we, so we can have um, the dimension of uh, th those boats, uh, like uh, dimensions in our framework. And finally, we have defining and, uh, and making the prioritization of quality indicators based on the dimensions we have chosen and taking into account our context and the possibility of implement these quality indicators in a systematic way. So uh, we have been improving um, the administrative record strengthening program, the methodologies, the instruments, uh, the scheme of work with entities and providers. We have also been uh, making uh, pilots uh, with agile methodologies in order to have applications um, advancing with the designing of the framework. And we also have been like conceptualizing a data government ecosystem uh, in which we can um, define a policy to implement not only the instrumental part of the, of the framework, but also uh, the governance that is, ne um, that is necessary in order to, uh, to get the involvement of the actors. This, in this slide, I just want to show um, how it's going to be, how's the process of implementing and aligning uh, the quality framework with the GSPPM. First, I want to mention that we have to increase the scope of our quality framework to focus on the uh, quality management in specifically in administrative records. So we have a general quality framework to uh, results to processes of a statistical production, but uh, at the moment we uh, understand that we need to focus um, in the process of quality when we're talking about secondary sources. So uh, this is a uh, reflect in the process of adaptation in the first phase of the GSBPM, the test and specified needs. We establish activity 1.5, check, uh, check data availability in which we can, uh, which allow us to uh, promote the diagnosis and quality checks on uh, data from secondary sources. In the process of collect, uh, collection, we understand collection not only uh, in the terms of the field operations, but uh, also in the terms of gather and store and the acquisition of data from secondary sources. And we uh, PC, uh, want to visualize the importance of setup this collection in terms of 
the providers with equipments to get access continually to the data, to run the collection in terms to have the uh, adequate in technological infrastructure to uh, make the storage and processing of those data, and to uh, uh, cool, like, uh, evaluate this process. Uh, in the processing phase, we uh, also have uh, in the integration of data, uh, the mention and the important mention to uh, check quality in that process. Also in the, in the activities related with uh, edit, uh, additional imputation. And uh, finally, in the phase of evaluation, we are promoting uh, to gather the evaluation inputs that are generated in the different phases in order to uh, implement improvements for the next iteration of the use of the uh, secondary sources in this case. So this is how we have been aligning our quality framework with our GSBPN, but not only this, we also had uh, advances in the definition of institutional capacity in terms of the new processes that are needed to support all this management, for example, the process of management of data providers, but also the process of uh, data management that are key to support all these um, uh, quality management strategy. And finally, the data government policy um, that uh, covers administrative records, but also alternative sources. So this implies um, like uh, the alignment of the standard, but also the generation of capacities at the institutional level to support all these processes. In terms of our quality framework, this is the scheme of uh, our quality framework uh, uh, focus on administrative sources. Uh, this quality framework uh, has been implemented in the peer review. The peer review is our, uh, one of our main strategies in which we select key administrative records of the national statistical system and work together with the providers and main users in order to uh, like visibilize the practices of quality, but also to implement recommendations and improvements on, this, uh, on those data. So this is the quality framework. It has too many components. The first is reflects our experience in terms of the administrative stretching program. Uh, the program has three work streams. The first is the diagnosis, the tools and methodology that allows Danny to check quality on those secondary sources, but also have the cell diagnosis in a way, it's a way to promote the self assessments uh, uh, by the providers of data and also the anonymization uh, work stream in which we promote the, the variability of open data at the micro data level, preserving uh, privacy and confidentiality. So this is our experience reflected in our strategic program, but also the revision we have made about the international practices, the good practices, the new standards and quality frameworks that have been designed and conceptualized, for example, in the modernization UNESA group. So um, in this part of the world, we have key concepts that we had been working as administrative objects, uh, statistic objects in order to understand the difference between the scope of the data in a secondary source and the interest in terms of the objects that want to measure and reflect the statistical office. Or other, key, other two key concepts are data source quality and input oriented and output oriented quality that are, uh, there is like a one of the focus we are uh, implementing in this quality framework. So these uh, process of adaptations uh, considers hyper dimensions, hyperdimensions uh, of source and metadata and data. And we want to focus particularly in the hyper dimension of data because it's the one we need to standardize and need to start to make like a accountability of those results. So here we have uh, establishes dimensions, indicators, a computation uh, method in order to ensure the systematic um, generation of indicators. The dimensions are the same uh, of the quality framework, uh, the international standard. There are technical checks, accuracy, completeness, temporality, and integrability. The difference is that we have to understand our context and determine which of all these possibilities of indicators could be implemented in the short run. So we focus on that uh, kind of indicators. 
so this is the big picture of our quality framework. As I was mentioned, uh, we have implemented this in the scope of the uh, peer reviews. But also we are like facing challenges in, the, in all this process of conceptualize, design, implement, and piloting all these uh, initiatives. Uh, the first one uh, is related to <clears throat> how we do not create an excessive burden on our IT infrastructure, particularly on store and processing. At the moment, Danny used nearly 140 uh, administrative records. Uh, so this is a big amount of information. So how we promote centralization, but we do not create an excessive burn on our technological infrastructure. The second challenge is how do we can create a balance between the quality assessment that should perform the supplier and the statistical office. Behind all these administrative records Danny is using, there are like a nearly 100 entities that are providing uh, uh, this data. So how we can uh, create this balance between the Danny and those actors to ensure responsibilities and adequate, and an, an adequate management of quality. What sort of decision can take the National Statistical Office if there is no metadata? Uh, we know that this is one of the main importance hyper dimensions, the metadata, and it's a, uh, um, um, a first step in order to advance in the data revisions. But in our experiences, the providers don't um, always have the documentation. So at the moment, we work with them in order to create the basic documentation of the administrative record as the data, data dictionary. But in, the, in a systematic uh, way, how can we deal with these situations? Um, other challenge is related with defining roles at the NSO to, the, to ensure the quality process. As I was mentioned before, uh, this is the motivation to have a policy on data government. Uh, it's a possibility to uh, start like a, a assigning better the responsibilities uh, inside the national statistical offices, providing governance and a space of collaborative words with indicators and accountability. The, the next challenge is related with the if uh, should the NSO perform his quality analysis on multiple objects, uh, if you can uh, share your experiences regarding the main objects that are on interest for the national statistical system, that uh, will be uh, very helpful uh, for us to overcome this challenge. And uh, the next is how to evaluate timelines when the NSO builds a statistical register based on several administrative records. Uh, for example, the population-based statistical records or enterprise statistical records uh, that uh, has as inputs many administrative records, how we like uh, align all these providers and times uh, in order to generate these uh, kind of products in a systematic way. And finally, how not to change variables quality to anonymization or imputation processes. We know there is very important to not only to management and quality, but also to generate the transformations that are needed in order to um, support the use or application of these administrative sources. So we want to uh, overcome this challenging in knowing when is a, a good balance between anonymization and uh, ensuring that the data still reflects the phenomena uh, we want to measure at the, uh, in a good manner. And uh, regarding the next steps that, uh, for this expert clinic, as Luis was mentioned, we want to um, um, go and know better what kind of criteria metrics uh, can be used to determine whether a statistical indicator based on administrative data is of sufficient quality so it can be confidently published by the National Statistical Office uh, and how we can report the quality of these indicators uh, differentiating the administrative record from um, the, the use. Um, the second um, question, key question for defining our roadmap is how has been the experience of your countries in the process of graduating an indicator based on administrative data 
transitioning from experimental to official statistics. Um, the experimental statistics is, has been an opportunity for us to uh, deliver some exercise applications we had been executing, but we want to know when uh, is the right moment uh, or what are the criteria that we need a must like uh, observe in order to uh, like uh, produce in a regular uh, way these statistics. And finally, um, for us, it's going to be very important uh, to define how can we ensure consistency over time. Uh, uh, we are starting this uh, generation of application based on secondary data. So we had found uh, challenges in terms of quality. We uh, are implementing actions to overcome these challenges. And we want to learn from you about the impact of these improvements of quality in terms of the measures that are being produced. So these are the next steps um, and the key questions we want to promote and learn uh, from your experience in the frame of this SPER clinic. That was uh, um, all for our site. Thanks a lot.